Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the WooCommerce video series. In this video, I'm going to install the free WooCommerce Name Your Price plugin. Using this plugin, you can add the customer defined pricing option in your WooCommerce website. Let's see an example of Name Your Price option. Here, I have created one simple product for the donation and I have used Name Your Price feature on this product. So here you can see that the actual price is 50 rupees. So the visitor will be able to start from 50 rupees. You can set the minimum and maximum value for the donation. The minimum price is 50 and here customer can increase the price by 10 rupees, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. So whatever amount they want, they can enter the amount. They can also enter the amount manually, just say 250 rupees and I'm going to click on add to cart. Let's go to view cart. Here you can see that the cart is updated to 250 rupees, which I entered manually. So in this example, customer has the option to enter the value manually. Now let's take another example. In this example, I have set different values for the product. I have edited this product. And here you can see that customer can select different pricing from these options. So I have created a drop down option. So customer can select any pricing option from here, 320, 330, 340. Here also you can set the minimum and maximum value. You can enter the, these values manually and customer can select any one of these value. So this is just an example of the product. You can use this option for any other product. Mostly it is used for the donation type of product. And in some cases, you may want to clear the old products from your e-commerce store. And instead of just giving them away, you can set name your price option to clear these products. So let's see how does this work. Do not forget to subscribe to Quick Tips YouTube channel. Watch new videos about website design, e-commerce websites, search engine optimization, social media marketing, WordPress tutorials, video editing tips, and many more. Press the bell icon to get instant notification whenever we publish new videos. So here I'm logged into the dashboard of the WordPress website and we are using WooCommerce on this website. Now we are going to install the free WooCommerce Name Your Price plugin or you can say the customer defined price plugin for WooCommerce. So let's go to plugins and click on add new. Here search for name your price. We are going to install this plugin WPC name your price for WooCommerce. Click on install now. This is a free plugin. Click on activate. Now in the left hand side panel, you will see an option WP Clever. When you go to WP Clever, you will see the option here, name your price, click on it. So these are the basic settings of this plugin. Status should be enabled. If you want to use this option, you need to keep it on enable. Suggested price. Now here you will see use general tabs price as suggested price. I'll show you how does this look on the actual product page. Add to cart button. Yes, show add to cart button rounding values around the amount to the nearest bigger up or the smaller down value when an invalid number is inputted so i'm not going to make any changes to these settings i'm going to keep it as it is here you will see the label name your price the product price if you want to set minimum value or the maximum value as a default setting, you can use this option. However, I'm not going to make any changes. You can make the changes on the individual product page. So we do not really need to make any changes here. So leave it as it is. Let's go to one of the products. Under WooCommerce, you will see a products option. Click on it. First, we will see how we can edit the existing product. And later, we will create a new product. So here you will see different products that I have already created and I'm going to make one of them as name your price product. So let's see if we are going to use, let's see if we are going to use this product. Click on edit. So we are on the product page and here you will see the option name your price. Click on it. By default, it is set to default settings. You need to overwrite so that you can make changes here on the product page itself. So I'm going to override the default settings. Input type. So here you will see two different options, input and select. You can set the minimum range for this product pricing. Let's see the current pricing of this product is 320. Okay, so let's go back here. 
and I want to start from 300 to let's say 400. So customer will be able to set their pricing in between 300 or 400. All right. So step if you want to increase the step by 10 rupees or 20 rupees, you can set it here. Whatever currency you are using, use the option according to your currency. On this website, it is set to Indian rupees. So I'm going to select the pricing according to the Indian rupees. So here I have set the minimum value of 300 and the maximum value of 400. Let's click on update and let's view the product. Now here you will see the option suggested price. This is the suggested price of this product, the actual price of this product, 320 rupees. And here you will see the option name your price. So it will start with 320, 20, 40. If your customer wants to enter their own price, they can set up the price here. Let's say I want to add 350 rupees. So I can enter the 350 rupees here and click on add to cart. Let's go to view cart. And here you will see the price that I have entered 350 rupees for this product price. Let's go back. Okay, here you will see suggested price. This option is here. Let me go back to WP Clever settings. Okay, so this is what you see here suggested price or the actual price. If I change it to actual price, let's change it to actual price and save the changes. Okay, now let me refresh it. And now here you will see the option actual price. So actual price of this product is 320. You can name your price and you can enter your price here. Now let's go to the product page and select the other option. Go to name your price. Here you will see second option select. Now here you can enter different pricing options. Let's start with 320, 330, 340, 350, whatever price range or whatever option you want them to select you can enter the price here all right so i have these options here let's click on update let's go back and refresh it now here you will see the name your price option is changed to select earlier the customer was able to enter their own price however now they will need to select from one of these options so if i select 400 and go to add to cart Go to view card. So here you will see the second option 400 that we selected from the drop down list. So this is how you can set two different pricing methods for the name your price settings. If you do not want to use this, you can simply disable it, update it and it will come back to the original product type. Let's view the product. Now you can see that name your price option is gone and it is just like this simple product. Now, if you want to create a new product, you can simply create a new product. Let's go to new, go to product. So we are going to create a product from the scratch. If you want to create a product for the donation, you can create a product for the donation. Select donation. So this will be the name of the product. Let's add some description here. Let's add the product image. This is the product image. Now we are not going to set any price here. Let's go to name your price, overwrite. Name your price setting to input, the default one. Let's start with the minimum donation of 50 rupees and the maximum will be, leave it blank, leave it as it is. So it will start from the 50 rupees. Let's add some short description here. You can also add the category for your product and click publish let's view the product all right so it's not showing the actual price here so let's start with the actual price start with the 50 rupees update it now here you will see the option actual price 50 rupees and they can start from 50 rupees let's say i want to Donate 78 rupees. I can enter the 78 rupees and just click on add to cart. Go to view cart. And here you will see the 70 rupees. 78 rupees has been added to the cart. Now you can also select the drop down select option and you can set the step. Let's see if I set this step to 10 rupees and update it. 
okay now i can increase by 10 rupees 50 60 70 you will see the option here if i enter 85 and click add to cart let's go to view cart now here you can see that even though i have entered the amount 85 it has rounded to the nearest smaller number here you can see that we have set the option here round the amount to the nearest down that is the smaller one if i make it up then 85 will be rounded off to the 90 rupees for the donation you can also mark it as a virtual product update it let's go back and view the product now here we have created this donation product as a virtual product so you're not going to send any physical product to the customer it's just a virtual product so this is how you can add name your price option in your woocommerce website using the free plugin so that's it for now see you in the next video do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools if you have any questions please leave us message in comment section and press the like button if you like the video Thanks for watching Quick Tips.